Having created my three very simple sprites, I'd now like to think about sorting out the background so it's a little bit more attractive. Uh, there's a special section in Scratch called the stage. And if I, I've selected stage over here, you can tell it's highlighted. If I then click on backdrops, we've just got the one blank backdrop at the moment. And I can begin painting or writing, if I use the T for text, um, some text on the screen. So I'm just going to type the very hungry caterpillar. Gone off the screen, not to worry. Once I click somewhere else, I can drag it back on. I can also resize if I'd like the font to be a bit bigger. Um, you may well have noticed when I was actually typing that there is an option to um, select a different font. So let's just try that one. Um, by Eric Carl. Quite like that. That'd be okay. Um, let's just drag that in underneath. Now if I use the fill bucket here, I could fill the background a particular colour. Um, or I could choose to use one of the gradient fills. Um, as you can see here, I'd recommend that you make your gradient fill the first thing that you do if you're going to put some text on there, and because things can get a little bit messy. So I think I'm actually going to undo that and keep it quite simple. Now, the Hungry Caterpillar book actually has a picture of, it's actually quite an orange sun up in the sky. Um, I should have used the fill option on that one, never mind. I've actually still got the gradient fill selected, so let's just do a regular solid fill and um, let's just paint a few little lines coming off to give it that hungry caterpillar feel. If you are using a touchscreen PC they can be really good fun to do this kind of thing on or they can make things a little bit diff more difficult depending on which way you look at it. Now, just underneath on the um, and this is um, this is perhaps where I might actually use a rectangle to do a, a gradient fill for the ground. Um, let's put the rectangle in, and let's choose a fill and do a vertical um, fill for the ground. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's my background for the very hungry caterpillar. And as you can see, I've got my sprites, and really importantly, if I just um, get my main window a little larger, my main sprites are quite independent of the background. I can drag them onto the sun, and then drag them back, and it's very, very different from using something like Color Magic, which doesn't work with such layers.